Superstar Celine Dion has been taking some time away from the limelight to deal with her diagnosis of stiff person syndrome. But in the meantime, it also seems she's still making some money. It was reported that Celine just sold one of her Las Vegas mansions for a whopping $30 million, which she purchased back in 2017 for $9.2 million. Located in the exclusive Summerlin area of Las Vegas, the 31,000 square foot estate sits on over an acre of land overlooking a golf course and boasts features like a stunning swimming pool and massive underground garage. While we don't know if this abode ever acted as Celine's main residence, we do know she still owns another Las Vegas home she bought back in 2003, and she also used to own mansions in Jupiter, Florida, as well as in her native Quebec, Canada. In recent news, Celine Dion has let go of a modern mansion she owned in Las Vegas for the price tag of $30 million. Located in the super luxurious development called the Summit Club, while this estate was impressive, it's unknown whether or not Celine even used it as a main residence at all. Found in the area of Summerlin, Las Vegas, the Summit Club is a community that has attracted a wide range of wealthy individuals desiring mansions in the deserts. Some other big names who own homes here include motivational speaker Tony Robbins, Golden Knights owner Bill Foley, and even actor Mark Wahlberg, just to name a few. It was said by local residents that Celine's mega estate was in a constant state of renovations and upgrades which is why it's not known if she ever got the chance to officially move in. She purchased the whopping 31,000 square foot home in 2017 for the significantly lower price of $9.2 million in an off-market deal. And it sits on 1.4 acres of land overlooking the community's designer golf course. Since this time around, the property wasn't on the open market once again. There aren't many photos available to show what Celine's mansion looked like inside. What we do know is that it's the first home tucked inside the Summit Club's guarded gates and inside the main mansion, there are four bedrooms and a wild 12 bathrooms throughout. Two floors of Celine's mansion above ground are reported to span about 14,500 square feet, while just below there's a finished basement level that spans a further 14,500 square feet. Not to mention, elsewhere in the property, there's a 3,300 square foot underground parking garage to hide any designer cars you could dream of. Another stunning feature of the upscale property is definitely the swimming pool and spa, which overlooks the 12th hole of the Tom Fazio designed golf course. The lucky buyers of this humongous home appear to be the private equity boss, Chuck Esserman, who made a lot of money early on with natural and organic food companies. Celine, on the other hand, has owned multiple homes around the world, from Florida to Montreal, Canada, and even Paris but her home base has been Las Vegas for quite some time now. While she keeps her home life and location quite private, it's said that her main residence is a custom compound in Henderson, Nevada, more specifically in a resort development that surrounds Lake Las Vegas. Apparently, Celine won't be performing again in Vegas until 2024, where she will appear on stage at Resorts World. But she is going to begin her international courage tour in August, kicking off in the Netherlands. It's reported that Celine still owns her estate in Henderson, Las Vegas that she bought in 2003 for $5 million, which is where she may be currently living. Celine and her late husband purchased a 1.5 acre mansion in Henderson, Nevada back in 2003. Celine has been a longtime staple of Sin City with her record breaking residency running for 16 years. So it makes sense she decided to move there for good. They bought this mansion a few months after the opening of her concert series in New day and completely renovated the impressive property shortly after moving in. This estate sits on 1.5 acres of land inside spanning over 8,100 square feet with four beds, six baths, and three fireplaces, while the detached guest house clocks in at 2,000 square feet with one bed and one bath. As expected, a basketball court and big outdoor pool can be seen from aerial photos too, and while there's no water park, like you'll see in her former Florida home, it still looks lavish. Celine has spent the pandemic at this Vegas abode too with her three sons and has shared glimpses inside the home thanks to Instagram. In one video, Celine sat with her glamorous kitchen in the background 
background with white shelves and appliances. While this Vegas home is already nice, she reportedly purchased that newly built family home in Summerlin that she just sold to be closer to her son's activities and errands. It just seems that she never actually ended up officially calling that mega estate home. Also in April 2023, Celine listed another property of hers, this time a riverside home in her native Quebec, Canada. More specifically, located in the area of Laval, Quebec, in the city's St. Rose neighborhood, about 19 miles from Montreal. And it's said the 16-room mansion was where Celine's mother, Therese Tanguay Dion, lived up until her passing in 2020. However, Celine was listed as the owner. Situated on 87 feet of water frontage on the Mille Ile River, this picturesque home was listed for just under $2.4 million. The residence spanned 5,000 square feet inside and also offered three comfortable bedrooms, three bathrooms, and other amenities throughout. Looking at photos of this home, while it's no doubt spacious, it still manages to give off a cozy feel across its two levels of living. The exterior of the house is decked out in stone and so is the attached garage, while inside there is a great room with living and dining areas combined, and a large kitchen which boasts wooden built-in cabinets, an island, and an Eden area. One of two nearby offices also on the main floor has large windows to take in views while you work, and the master suite bath is decked out in an all-white design. Among the other features of this Montreal area home Celine is selling include more than one gas fireplace, a sewing room, a workshop, and a fully glassed-in solarium room that boasts amazing views out to the river. Then out back this family home has additions like a shed and gazebo to complement the beautiful riverside setting. In in 2017, Celine also reported. In 2017, Celine also sold another mansion, but this time it was in the Sunshine State. The Bahamian inspired mammoth home was on Jupiter Island, Florida, and built by Celine and her late husband in 2010. And yes, this is the one with the water. The couple spent just over $7 million in 2008 on the 5.7 acre property itself and proceeded to build a space that resembled a luxury resort rather than a family home. Inside there was an open floor plan with ample space in every room and the mansion spans nearly 19,000 square feet with 13 beds and 14 baths throughout. Marketing materials say there are five additional pavilions aside from the main home, one of them being a guest house that sleeps more than eight guests. The indoor-outdoor vibe in this mansion is perfect for a location like Jupiter Island, so you always get the sun and ocean breeze. There was an airy living room with white walls, as well as a dining room with vaulted ceilings and glass sliders to the pool. Celine's former sleeping quarters had it all, with a TV that dropped from the ceiling and an attached bath with glam mirrored vanity. Not to mention there is a dressing room, separate walk-in closet with automated racks, and two ocean view verandas, one with a fireplace and one with a hot tub. When it comes to amenities, Celine knows how to crank the luxury level to 100. Her Florida home boasted a full tennis court, tennis house, simulated golf range, a pool house with kitchen and grill, and in the beach house there was a loft and a massage room. And how could we forget the best part? This mansion had its own water park. Yes, there were three pools at this home, one at the back near the ocean and two connecting pools near the front of the home. These were part of her private water park, which encompassed a lazy river, water water cannons, spiral slide, and a tree house. A mansion with its own lazy river? To me, that sounds like a dream come true. Celine's Florida Paradise ended up selling for $20 million, and while you might wonder why she'd ever want to give this place up, it's reportedly where her husband Renee fell ill and spent his final years of life. I'd assume she moved on because she couldn't see herself living at this oasis without him. Now that we've looked at a handful of Celine Dion's homes past and present, that'll conclude today's house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you were able to have one water park or theme park addition to your property, what would it be? For me, obviously, it's going to be that lazy river, but let me know what you would choose in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because next, we're going to look at the properties of another Canadian star, Shania Twain. Bye!
Shania Twain may keep herself away from the public eye much of the time, but it's easier for the singer to do so at her impressive properties. The star reportedly spends most of her time living at her beautiful estate in Switzerland, which overlooks Lake Geneva. Aside from this home, she's kept other residences including a mansion in the Bahamas and homes in Las Vegas as well as her native country Canada. While Shania keeps her home life quite personal, she has given fans some peeks over the years. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shania Twain is a Canadian singer and songwriter who's one of the best-selling artists in country music history. She was also dubbed the leader of the 90s country pop crossover stars, which makes sense when you consider all of her hits. At the time, it's said that Shania has amassed a net worth of about $400 million, which she has invested some of in properties around the world. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Shania Twain. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Shania was born in Windsor, Ontario, and raised up north in a small town called Timmins, also in Ontario, following her parents' divorce. It seems that Shania has kept her love for a quiet lifestyle, being a small town girl, and these days, she chooses to spend the majority of her time in Switzerland, where her primary residence is located. Her abode is located in the town of Corso and overlooks Lake Geneva. She lives here with her husband of eight years and their pups. More specifically, her estate is in La Tour de Pays, an area on Lake Geneva which is scenic and relaxing. The town is backed by mountains, a gondola can take you to the top and some picture perfect inns are scattered on the hillside. As you would expect, the views of the lake are amazing from anywhere here. Shania's current home here is actually a much smaller villa than her former home. But because the star is so private, there aren't too many specific details on the place. Before this home, Shania lived in a stunning Swiss castle named Chateau de Sully until 2006, which was originally built by a baron named Bertrand Bouchporn. He had selected an architect from Geneva to construct the estate way back in 1882, and the castle was located on land with sprawling lawns and manicured landscaping. There were multiple terraces, gardens, and more across, but was hidden on a hill and sheltered by trees. What we know about Shania's current home in Switzerland is based on what the singer has shared online. From her rural mansion, you can see across the largest body of water in Switzerland, and we've seen that exact view when Shania took part in an interview view from inside her home. In 2010, we saw what looks like the outdoor space at Shania's property too when she was sharing Christmas wishes. It seemed that the outdoor lounge space featured a comfy armchair and more furnishings surrounding a massive fire pit. There was also a goal set for some soccer games off to one side. Speaking about her life in Switzerland, Shania said, it's a very beautiful region, very scenic. I like to spend a lot of time boating on the lake. In fact, one of the neighboring properties is the studio where Queen spent many, many years writing and recording. Freddie Mercury lived in what is called the Duck House. Well, I think we can understand why she loves her property so much. When Shania and her husband Frederick want to escape somewhere warmer, they do so in style at the amazing Bahamas mansion she owns on the water. Her vacation property is situated in an exclusive and gated community called Old Fort Bay, which boasts a private club and is anchored by the historic Old Fort that dates back to the late 1700s. Shania's beautiful home here boasts 7,000 square feet of space inside with five beds and five baths on a one acre lot also with 150 feet of beachfront. The retreat not only gives off the perfect island getaway vibes much like a resort, but it still feels cozy and welcoming at the same time. The 2004 built home boasts grand common areas including a well laid out kitchen with everything from a breakfast nook to top of the line stainless appliances and a butler's pantry. Not to mention, there's a door here opening to one of the breezy outdoor patios. There's a guest room attached to Shania's kitchen that blends some living areas including a dining room and plush family room, all underneath high wood beam ceilings with a wall of glass that slides away to reveal the beach. Other features in Shania's Bahamas getaway includes a large media room, movie theater, and a stunning master suite with mahogany lined walls 
built-in bookshelves and wraparound views. When the couple has visitors, there's also plenty of space for them in the guest rooms, which are bright and boast views of the beach and canal, while there's also the option of a guest apartment. Out back, while there's a sandy beach right in front of you for those pool lovers, there's also a swimming pool and spa. In 2019, it was reported the singer was trying to offload the Bahamas property for $10.95 million, but it was taken off the market shortly after. Now, the mansion is apparently back on the market for $12.9 million. Shania may have some beautiful properties, but none in Los Angeles. However, when the star has some business to do or wants to visit the sunny city, her son actually owns a home which she can stay at. Spanning 2,304 square feet of space with three beds and 2.5 baths, there's plenty of space for his mom to come stay whenever she's not across the pond. Her son's property is in a charming neighborhood and boasts a 1961 Ms century modern home was updated and modernized in 2014. The home also has plenty of privacy hidden behind tall redwood gates and while there's not much of a yard, there are great views of LA. The house has the uppermost level as the main floor since it's built on a hillside and the other two floors drop down to the back. This main floor is basically all open plan with skylights and an airy feel along with a fireplace in the living area and a glass sliding door to a balcony. There's also a chic open kitchen. The middle level of the abode is occupied by the master retreat with private office, sprawling walk-in closet, and spa-style bathroom. Well, that about wraps it up for our Shania Twain house tour. While she keeps her main residence in Switzerland highly under wraps, we can tell the country queen is also a real estate pro with luxury properties in places like the Bahamas. Not to mention, while she might not own a place of her own in LA like her son, she does have one in Las Vegas. Considering Shania is currently doing a Las Vegas residency, performing at Planet Hollywood Zappos Theater, she lives in the state of Nevada often too. During her last residency here, Shania was living at a Sin City hotel. This time, she opted for something different. Now, it's reported this singer moved away from the hustle and bustle of the strip to a farm. She told Live with Kelly and Ryan, I'm moving into my new little farm. I always have to have my horses with me and my dogs. I just have to keep my family around me and my animals are part of my family. Well, I totally feel that, Shania. It's also said that Shania owns a secluded home or cottage in the Lake of Bays area in Ontario, but she hasn't shown it to the public yet. Well, after seeing the properties of Shania Twain, or at least a couple of them, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!